Busy, busy. The studio's finished. What next? A showbiz star. Us. Welcome to family fun for you with me, Les Dennis. Where are you? Uh, you're what? Too. Why you can't grab me? I'm a game oh, show. Ah. Next, you munchies. Yum, yum. What are you doing? What are you doing? You, you can't eat it. I can. Watch me. Fella. Today's contestant, all the way from Royden, it's the King! And they'll be playing against the Sly Foxes from London! Here's a taste of the thrills and spills that stand between them and their freedom! show where the team that's not the winner will be Brian's yeah. Yes, here we are again with two teams of few munchies ready to do battle for their chance to... Ow! To... Ow! Brian! Oh. Oops. You slob! Your food's going everywhere! Sorry, Jez. Don't expect that meatball, will you? <sighs> Try aiming for your mouth, will yeah. you? Oh! Hmm. Thanks, cheers. Good. All right, we'll get on with the show and meet the teams. First of all, we meet the Kings. <laughs> Hi, Novant. Hi, Des. Les. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. <laughs> Introduce us to your team, Novant. First of all, we have Karim. Hi, Karim. Hi, Les. Then we have Jonathan. Hi, Les. Hi, Jonathan. Then we have Renee. Hi, Alice. Hi, Renee. And lastly, we have Jay Laverne. Hi, Alice. Hi, Jay Laverne. Why do you call yourself the Kings, Narvand? Because, because we, we rule! rule! You rule the Kings rule! Let's go and meet the Sly Foxes! <laughs> Hi, Aiden. Hi, Les. Introduce it to your team. Well, first of all, we have Tupai. Hi, Les. Hi, Tupai. Then we got Bonnie. Hi, Les. Hi, Bonnie. We have Emma. Hi, Les. Hi, Emma. And last but not least, we have Jonah. Hi, Les. Hi, Jonah. I'm going to ask you the same question as I asked them. Why do you call yourself the Kings? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Sly Foxes. Because we're cunning, quick, and agile, and we're all very good friends, and we have a positive attitude. OK, so it's cunning versus the rulers of the world. That's the team! <laughs> Teams, this is how we play Fee Fi Fo Yum. You will compete in a series of games in order to earn time. The more time you earn, the better you will stand a chance of winning the great escape at the end of the show. And remember, the team that gets beat, Brian's gonna eat! Yes, because after all, every giant needs his five a day. <laughs> Though the food that Brian's dropping today, he probably needs ten. <laughs> With game one. Every Friday night, Brian loves to order a chow mein from his Chinese takeaway. The problem is, he hates peas. <laughs> Will you stop hitting me on the head with your food? I get the message. You ate peas. Right, teams, in this game, your job is to take the peas out of the cartons and put them onto the plates with the chopsticks that Brian has provided you with. The team that gets the most peas on the plate will win the first five-second lifeline, but more importantly, that chow mein will take Brian's mind off eating you for a while. Mm. So, Brian, who's going to play? fee fi fo yum I think you should have a go, Narvand. And... Jay Laverne. You'd make a tasty snack. And I like the look of Jonah and Tupai. Perfectly bite-sized. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play. Chop, chop. Teams, you will have until Brian's egg timer runs out to put the peas on the plate. Good luck. Brian, over to you. Three, two, one, chop, chop. And they're off. Oh, here we go. The 
So that means the first five second lifeline goes to the Kings! Yeah! It's still all to play for. We're going to take a break. Join us soon on Fee Fi Fo Yum! <laughs> you didn't see that coming, did you? Fee Fi Fo Yum will be back after these giant messages. GTV! <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you'll never get your home smelling right. Still not stinky enough, is it? You need plug and pong! Simply plug it in and pick from three pongy settings. Manure, sour milk and rotten veg. And every hour your home will be blessed with a silent but violent trump of fresh poopery fragrance. The new plug and pong, exclusive to GTV. Young, where the Kings take an early five second advantage over the Sly Foxes, but there's still plenty of time up for grabs. And what does time mean? Freedom! Oh, yeah, freedom. I can only dream. Anyway, if you're a regular viewer of Fifi Fo Yum, you'll know that this is Brian's favourite part of the show. It certainly isn't mine. Go then, Brian. Introduce it. It's Dezzy's Tasty Challenge! Oh, you just can't get it right, can you? Les's Tasty Challenge! Les's Tasty Challenge! <sighs> Dezzy's Tasty Challenge! Don't know about you, Emma, but I think Brian's a buffoon. I agree. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Brian, I was just saying to Emma that I fancy trying a macaroon. Yes, Brian. Get on with it, will you? Fair enough. OK, teams. Under this dish is a type of food that Brian has placed here. I have no idea what it is. Your job is to guess how much of it I can eat. So let's reveal the meal. Pick a lily. Uh, lovely. A potpourri of vegetables pickled in pick a lily. So how much of this do you think I can eat in 30 seconds? Put down your guesses on your cards. Don't let your opponent see what you guess. Pick a lily. Lovely. Brian, you've got me. I think you really have got me. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> it looks horrible. We should say more because it's a few. No, he's not going to do well. Pick a lily. Sick a lily. <laughs> so, teams, you should have written down your guesses. Keep them to yourself, as I ask Brian, with great trepidation for my light, please. <laughs> I have 30... Are you sure it's 30? 30 seconds starting 
Now! Yum! Oh! Come on, come on! Come on! 20! Oh! 50! I don't even know what that was! Pickled what? 10! 9! I'm fine! 6! 5! 4! 3! How many times does your freedom is not mine? Time's up! You started, so you're finished! Mm. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That one, you like it. Look at your face, it's all going... Mm. All gone. So, Kings, how much of this piccalilli did you guess that I could eat in 30 seconds? You guessed eight. 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 eight mouthfuls. And what about you, Sly Foxes? Seven. So, Brian, how much of that piccalilli did I eat in 30 seconds? I can confirm you have eaten six spoonfuls. Six. So that means at seven, the Sly Foxes yeah! are the closest, and they get a five-second lifeline. No, no. We are going to take a break. I certainly need one. Join us soon when one of these teams of humunchies will end up in Brian's mm. tum on fee fi fo yum And that was certainly fee fi fo yum <laughs> When you're in a hurry and you're going to be late It's time to get some breakfast served up quickly on your plate So when you're in a hurry with the ground that is calm Grab Humanchi Crunchy and the job is done New Humanchi Crunchy is packed with the hearty goodness of thousands of Humanchis Lightly toasted until golden brown and glazed in honey for that extra crunch Humanchi Crunchy Make sure breakfast is fun Grab you munchy crunchy and the job is done! Hey there, messy eater! I think someone needs a slop and save! Go on, shovel it in! Nothing gets wasted with the slop and save! Its unique patented recycling suck system slurps into action with the flick of a switch and you'll get instant sloppy seconds! Mmm, mouthwatering! The Waste Not Wad Not Slop and Save, only 55 grots. Oh, hello. Yes, I'd like to order a slop and save, please. My name? Les Dennis. No, no, not Des Lennis. Les Dennis, yes, yes! Oh, you're welcome! Back to fee fi fo yum where the King's team have a five-second lifeline. <laughs> And the Sly Foxes have a five-second lifeline. But still plenty of time up for grabs as we play our next game. But you know what? Brian's not happy. And the reason Brian is sulking is because earlier he was enjoying a nice couple of chocky gobs when disaster struck. He only went and dropped his bickies. Hardly surprising, considering the amount of food that misses his mouth. So, teams, your job is to dive into the custard, get the bits of Bicky out and recreate them. Because if there's one thing this giant doesn't like, it's a soggy biscuit. All clear, teams? Yes! Brian, who's going into the custard? Stop sulking. For this game, I'm going to pick... Kareem. Truly scrumptious. Mmm. Mmm. I like the look of... Aiden. You'd be nice on a piece of toast. And who will be making the biscuits? I want... Rene and... Jonathan. You two are going to be delicious. And... Emma... And... Bonnie. Look at all that lovely long hair. Mmm, chewy. Brian's made his choice. Teams, let's play! Vicky break. Kareem and Aiden, you're diving for the bits. You will pass them to Rene and Emma, who will pass them to Jonathan and Bonnie, who will make the biscuits. Kings, you're playing for the milk chocky gobs. And Sly Foxes, you're going for the white chocky gobs. The team that makes Brian's biscuit first will win the five-second lifeline. Good luck. Goggles on. 
three, two, one, go! And there they go! Kareem dived in. Aiden didn't get himself too wet. So Aiden is going for his first one shocky go. These pieces get so soaked in custard, they get very heavy. Kareem's goggles are off again. They've got two bits. Whoa! Rene found them right back with that bit of milk jockey gun. That's it, Kareem. Again, looks like the Sly Foxes might be just nudging ahead. I think they've got more bits out. Munching, dripping in custard. Ooh. Yes! Brian's licking his lips. <laughs> so, who's who's making the best biscuit? <laughs> this could be anybody's game. It's now down to who puts that biscuit together in time. Sly foxes. Sly foxes are in. They've finished their biscuit. And it means that they have a five-second lifeline because the Kings the King. just didn't finish in time. Happy Brian. <laughs> Brian! We're going to take a break, mm. but teams, watch the commercials mm. carefully because I'll be oh. quizzing you on them later. And you lot can play along at home. Not that your life depends on it. We'll see you then. <laughs> When you're in the dinner jam, all you need is in one can. A kind of ham that's made of nans, it really is some tasty spam. Each one contains a real nan. It's nan in a can. Each one contains a real nan. May contain traces of granddad's minty sweets and walking sticks. Nutrition content not guaranteed. There, Trumpy. Sounds like you need a change of underwear. No money? No problem. Get your hands on a pair of as good as new undies. As good as new undies are guaranteed with the Skidmark seal of certainty. Saggy, check. Soil, check. Stinky, check. And here's the best part. As good as new undies are less than half the price of brand new undies. Who needs brand new when you can have as good as new? Don't worry. They already stink. As good as new products are not actually as good as new products. It's just a catchy name. Welcome back to Fee Fi Fo Young Nan and Teams. I hope you were watching those ads really carefully because I'm about to quiz you on them. If you give me a correct answer, I'll give you a two second lifeline. Currently, the Kings have a five second lifeline. <laughs> and the Sly Foxes are nudging ahead with a ten second lifeline. <laughs> And there's ten seconds to be won in this game, so fingers on your buzzers as we play... Ad Analysis. Right, here's your starter for two. There are traces of three extra ingredients in Nan in a Can. Can Sly you name foxes. one of them? Sly Foxes. Uh, s stinky. <laughs> no. That's not what we're looking for, the so kings. I'll pass it over. Um, s soggy. Soiled. Stinky. No. OK, let's have a look. May contain traces of Grandad's minty sweets and walking sticks. That's what we were looking for, either traces of Grandad's minty sweets or walking sticks. So no seconds won there. How did you get that wrong? Question two. How much does Nan in a can cost? Sly Foxes. Sly Foxes. Baden. 17 cents. 17 cents? It was 17 grots, but we'll accept 17 cents. It was 17 that we were looking for. I knew that one. Question three. In as good as new underpants, what did the giant get called at the, the start kings. of the ad? The kings. Smelled. No, handed over to the sly foxes. Come on, you munchies. No, let's have a look. Whoa there, Trumpy. He got called Trumpy! So, question four. <laughs> On which part of the giant's body did the underpants land? Sly foxes. Sly foxes. Um, on his face. Let's have a look if you're right. On his face is absolutely right. Well done. Oh, Last question. You really need to get in, Kings. 
apart from saggy and soiled, what are as good as new underpants guaranteed to stinky. be? Stinky. Stinky. I didn't even finish the question. Let's see. Saggy, check. Soiled, check. Stinky, check. Yes, you get another two seconds. Well yeah. done. So at the end of that round, Kings, you didn't get any right, so you get no seconds. Oh. And the Sly Foxes, you got three right, which gives you six seconds. Yeah. Seven votes. How does that affect your overall lifelines? Let's find out. After the weather from Windy Wendy. Here's the forecast wherever you live in Giant Land. Hello there, it's Windy Wendy Weather Van with your GTV weather. Now, today there's going to be widespread cloud. <laughs> followed by thick fog, which is going to linger all day, especially around High Gough. <laughs> and that's your weather. <coughs> I beg your pardon. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, a present for me to Brian from Dez. Oh. Stop and save. Oh, thank you, Dez. That's the most beautiful thing anyone's ever bought me. Lovely. Does that mean then, Brian, you might think about letting me escape one day? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, then, on with the show. And things are getting serious. Teams, it's down to you. Brian doesn't pick anymore. You must decide who's going to take on The Great Escape. <laughs> so you can confer, teams. This decision is really important for both teams. Remember, Brian will be eating yeah. one of the teams at the end of the show. So whoever steps up to the mark will have the fate of their teammates in their hands. <laughs> OK, teams, I need your decisions. So, Kings, who's playing for you and why? we picked Jane Fern because she's, she's a fit and she's going to win us our freedom! <laughs> Jane Fern, are you up to that pressure? Definitely. Good. And the Sly Foxes, who's playing for you and why? Aiden. Aiden. We chose Aiden because we trust him, we think he's fast. Whoa, Aiden, a lot of pressure. Can you handle it? Of course. <laughs> OK, <laughs> then Jane Laverne and Aiden, it's time for... The Great Escape. This is it. Jay Laverne and Aiden. Brian has trapped your teammates in the scales of justice and their future <laughs> hangs literally in the balance. It's down to you two to try to free them, but standing between you and them is The Great Escape. First, you must tackle the Donut Dash. Then it's on to the kitchen roll crawl. But watch out for those meatballs. Once through that, you must then take on the rolling pin run. But watch out, watch out. Brian's got those tea bags out. Then you must complete the chalk bar challenge to build a walkway to Brian's big bowl. Then it's up the slippery slope to the rope. The player that gets to the top first must pull the release rope. Only then can your teammates escape down the freedom chute. You don't need me to explain that the team that's not the winner will be Brian's dinner. dinner. OK, the Kings, you have an overall lifeline of five seconds. And the Sly Foxes, you have an overall lifeline of 16 seconds. So, Aiden, you have an 11-second lead. How do you feel about that? Incredible. I'm so confident now. OK, and how do you feel, Jay Levin? Do you think you can catch up? Yeah, I'm sure. You're sure? OK, you will go on Brian's first whistle, Aiden, and you will go on Brian's second whistle 11 seconds later. Brian, are you ready? Good luck. Run for your lives. And Aiden's off. He's into the donut dash. A little trip there, but only the one. And he's into the kitchen roll crawl. He's through that. And oh, you're off now. There you go. So, can you catch up, Jay Laverne? Whoa! Aiden's right across. Right across the rolling pin run. Jay Laverne, you need to read. Across. Watch out for the tea bags. Brilliant, brilliant. I've never seen that played so well by two teams. You're into the chop bar challenge. It still could be anybody's game. You've caught up that 
seven seconds amazingly, Jay Levert. Aiden talked about being amazingly confident, but it's anybody's game. You must put that chuck bar into its place. It can't be half in. It's... Okay, Aiden's in to the custom. Oh, and he's slipping back. This is where it gets tough. The slippery slope. So, Jay Levert, if you can finish that chuck bar challenge, you will be into the custom. So they're both in the custom now. Aiden just ahead. Jay Laverne just back into the custom. He's really up the slippery slope. He's really there to get his team to freedom. He's at the top. He's pulled the rope. See your team out. Freedom. Oh, so Jay Laverne, hard luck. You nearly caught up, and you couldn't quite make it on the chop bar challenge and then the slippery slope. So you know what that means. Your team is not the winner. You are Brian's. Dinner. I'm so sorry, Jay Laverne. How Over dare to you, you, Brian. Sorry, Kings, but rules are rules! That's it from B5 Bo Young. Brian's enjoying that king-size snack, but it won't keep him happy for long. Join us next time when two teams of humunchies will fight for their lives and hope to stay out of Brian's tum. We'll see you then. Say goodbye, Brian. Goodbye, Brian. Oops. Good job I was wearing my slop and save. Hello, BBC One. Hello, CBBC Channel. Yeah, that's right, because it's Big Fab Friday. We've mm -hmm. taken over both channels. Now, London, London, I, I must go, lovey. Must go. Sam and Mark are waiting for me. Uh, cheerio. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye. yeah. George has got a meeting with Sam and Mark. He's going to give him some show ideas. Yes, I've told him. Yes, yeah. yeah. mm -hmm. oh, 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 Sam and oh, Mark. Oh, right. oh, hey, now, listen. Guess what? I've got an idea. What, for Sam and Mark's TMI Friday? <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> How did you know that? Oh. Are you mind readers? No, you tell us every week. You do this every week. You come up with a rubbish idea oh. and it's pointless. Rubbish. But seeing oh. as we're all here, we'll give you one more go at it, Dodge. All right, get this. Listen to this. Are you scareder than a Dodge? Oh. <laughs> That's actually quite good. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. fancy playing it. Should we play it? Yeah. yeah. All right, OK, well, here you go. Here is your legendary oh. stick of fear and egg of destiny, Mark. You've got yours yeah. as well. Oh, a okay, stick! A stick yeah. with an egg! It's a <laughs> stick with an egg! Just chill out, chill will you? Dog. Okay, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. here comes challenge one. Nah. A box, Mark! Oh. Oh. Ow, Mark! It's a dog, box, dog, Mark! Dog, dog, Just dog. a box! Oh, was... okay, here we go. Oh, Easy challenge in three, two, one. Ah! Oh, oh, Mr. Bear, how you doing? Give me a little scratch on the nose. Yeah, oh, thanks, yeah. Sam and... Sam and Mark? Mark? Sam? Oh. 